The 360-degree camera market is entering an exciting new phase. With the Insta360 X5 now available and DJI preparing to officially unveil its Osmo 360 in July 2025, creators, adventurers, and tech enthusiasts are faced with a compelling decision. Choosing between them involves understanding more than just specs. It's about which device will serve your needs best, not only now, but in the evolving content creation landscape. In this video, we're trying to figure that out. The Insta360 X5 continues the legacy of its predecessor, the X4, but with meaningful improvements that affect usability, image quality, and durability. It doesn't reinvent the design language, but rather refines it. At first glance, the X5 looks almost identical to the X4, keeping the same candy bar-shaped profile, a 2.5-inch touchscreen, and a removable battery. For many users, this familiarity is a strength. The camera retains portability and ease of use while becoming tougher and more capable. Internally, however, the changes are substantial. The Insta360 X5 introduces dual 1-1.28-inch image sensors, which are significantly larger than those used in the X4. This enhancement alone brings a noticeable jump in image clarity, particularly in low-light environments a known weakness of the older model. These sensors in tandem with Insta360's enhanced image processing via multiple dedicated chips produce footage that feels more vibrant across dynamic lighting conditions. One of the most practical upgrades to the X5 is its lens system. For the first time in Insta360's consumer lineup, users can replace lenses themselves. This not only protects your investment, but also encourages more aggressive, creative shooting without the fear of a costly mishap. Given how exposed the lenses are due to their wide angle and design, the ability to swap them out for a small cost is a user-friendly move. On the software side, Insta360 continues to lean into automation with its companion app, offering AI-assisted edits that streamline the content creation process. Whether it's trimming highlights, adding transitions, or syncing music, the app aims to eliminate tedious manual editing. Though some users will still prefer hands-on post-production, especially for professional projects, having fast, social-ready exports is a major perk for casual users or time-sensitive campaigns. Waterproofing and durability also get a boost. The X5 is IP68 rated, which means it can be submerged to depths of up to 15 meters without a case, an improvement from the X4's 10-meter limit. Drop resistance has been enhanced too, thanks to reinforced lens glass. These changes make the X5 even more suitable for action scenarios, whether it's mounted on a helmet, strapped to a bike, or carried while snorkeling. All this comes with a modest price increase. The Insta360 X5 launched at $549.99, just slightly more than the X4, which hit the market at $499.99 the previous year. Considering the improvements in sensor size, image quality, lens flexibility, and build strength, this price hike is fairly justified. Now enters the DJI Osmo 360, a camera that hasn't yet hit the shelves but has already stirred curiosity and speculation. With DJI's track record in drones, handheld gimbals, and compact action cameras, expectations are understandably high. According to credible leaks and insider previews, DJI isn't merely trying to follow Insta360's lead. It's aiming to redefine how 360 cameras are designed and used. The most immediate difference is the form factor. DJI's Osmo 360 is expected to adopt a square-shaped body reminiscent of the original GoPro Max, rather than the elongated vertical shape of the Insta360 X5. This design could provide improved mounting stability and lower center of gravity, ideal for high-impact activities like mountain biking, snowboarding, or motorcycling. For those who need a camera that stays put under rough conditions, DJI's direction makes sense. What might truly set the Osmo 360 apart is its sensor. While exact details are still under wraps, all signs point to a 1 over 1.3 inch sensor, possibly the same one used in DJI's Osmo Action 5 Pro. 
Compared to Insta360's already impressive 1 over 1.28 inch sensors, this could deliver marginal but meaningful improvements in low light shooting, dynamic range, and overall image fidelity. There's even speculation, albeit with less certainty, that DJI may go further and incorporate a 1 inch sensor, like the one found in its Osmo Pocket 3. If that turns out to be true, DJI would leapfrog the X5 in raw image quality, particularly for professional use. Another area where DJI is poised to excel is stabilization. The company's expertise in drone-based video capture has resulted in some of the best electronic image stabilization tech available today. Its Rocksteady Plus system, already proven in the Action Series, is expected to be optimized for 360-degree use. If executed well, this could give DJI an edge in producing smoother, more cinematic footage in chaotic or fast-moving situations. Audio is also shaping up to be a strong suit for DJI. Leaks suggest compatibility with DJI's wireless mic systems, which could offer cleaner, more directional audio without needing external adapters. This integration could be especially useful for vloggers or documentary-style creators who want professional-grade sound without cobbling together multiple pieces of gear. In terms of resolution, the Osmo 360 is likely to match the X5 with 8K video at 30 frames per second. However, DJI's focus may not lie in topping frame rates or resolutions, but in how effectively it processes and presents that footage. If DJI incorporates Hasselblad-inspired color science, as it has done with other cameras, users can expect more natural tones and higher color accuracy right out of the box. Another big selling point for the Osmo 360 will likely be how seamlessly it integrates into DJI's wider ecosystem. With its MIMO app expected to support the new camera, users already familiar with DJI drones or gimbals will enjoy a unified editing and control experience. The camera is also rumored to support continuous charging via USB-C pass-through, making it more flexible for long shoots or stationary setups like event coverage or time lapses. When it comes to pricing, DJI appears ready to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Insta360. Reports indicate a target launch price of around $499, slightly undercutting the X5 while offering comparable or even superior hardware in some areas. If true, this positions the Osmo 360 as a highly attractive alternative, especially for creators not yet committed to the Insta360 ecosystem. That said, there's still one important caveat. The Osmo 360 remains unreleased. Until real-world testing confirms its performance and reliability, everything remains speculative. DJI's track record is strong, but early adopters will need to weigh the benefits of waiting for a potentially better product against the security of choosing something already proven and available. If you need a 360 camera today, the Insta360 X5 is a reliable, powerful, and user-friendly choice. It's been tested, reviewed, and refined. Delivering excellent video quality, smarter editing tools, and improved hardware over its predecessor. On the other hand, if your shooting schedule allows for a short delay and you're willing to place your trust in DJI's history of innovation, the Osmo 360 might offer just that little bit more, whether in sensor quality, color science, or stabilization. Ultimately, the decision comes down to how soon you need a camera, how deeply you're invested in either ecosystem, and what aspect, okay, portability, durability, low light performance, or integration matter most to your workflow. Both devices promise to be excellent, but they serve slightly different needs. For the cautious buyer, the Insta360 X5 is ready now and lives up to its reputation. For those intrigued by what's next and willing to bet on bold design and integrated performance, the DJI Osmo 360 may be worth the wait. What do you think? Share with us in the comments. Thanks for watching.